All right, so let's go ahead and get started on our first example here, guys. Let's go ahead and get started on our first example. Um, in this case, I want to go ahead and simplify the expression. And whenever we're sim simplifying expressions here, we're basically looking for common uh, terms or like terms in this case uh, that we could combine. So we do have the expression negative 5x squared plus an 8x minus 3 plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 13x. This is actually supposed to be, I think, 13. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and delete that 13x there. Um, so in this case, guys, um, let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, whenever we're looking for like terms, we're basically looking for terms that have the same exponent and the same variable. So starting off, I have the negative 5x squared. It's actually its like term would be the 2x squared. Uh, moving on to the next one, I have an 8x. And the 8x in this case would be combining with the negative 7x. And we have the negative 3, which is going to be combining with 13. So I'm going to go ahead and actually align these. I'm going to go ahead and align them here. So I have a negative uh, 5x squared plus an 8x minus 3. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the 2x plus, uh, x squared minus a 7x plus 13. So once again, these are our like terms, like terms, and like terms. So starting off, if I do negative 3 plus a 13, that's going to leave me off with a 10, and that's positive. Then 8x minus a 7x, that's actually just going to leave me with an x, or a 1x, I'm not going to put the 1. And then negative 5x squared uh, plus a 2x is actually going to give me a negative 3x squared. So this here, guys, is our simplified expression. That is our simplified expression. Moving on to the next one, it, it's actually more or less the same idea. The only thing different here is that we're actually subtracting our expression instead of um, adding. And what this shows in this case is that we're actually going to be multiplying our second parenthesis by a negative 1. Whenever we're multiplying by a negative, all it's doing with our expression is that it's actually switching our sign. So let me go ahead and rewrite everything. I have um, f of 3 minus 5f plus 25. And in this case, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and multiply negative. Um, let me actually remove my parentheses here. Uh, negative uh, 1 times a 4f is actually going to give me a negative 4f squared. And then negative 1 times a negative 12x is actually going to give me a positive 12f. And then negative 1 times a 9 in this case is going to give me a negative 9. Negative 9. So from here, let's go ahead and combine like terms. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and start off with f cubed. Uh, if we take a look at our expression here, there's actually no other f cubed, so that's actually going to be by itself. Uh, moving on, um, we have a negative uh, 5f, and I could actually combine that with the 12f. Then we have a constant, which is 25, and I'm going to go ahead and combine that with the negative 9. And in this case, we also have a negative 4f, and that does not have any like terms. So on the previous one, I did align them. In the next one, I'm going to actually group them, put them in parentheses, the ones that are the same. So the ones that are not, we have f cubed minus a 4f squared. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and add whatever we have as a negative a 5f plus a 12f. And then we have plus a 25 minus a 9. All right, so once again, this was that term. This one are these. This one's that one. And this one's that one. So let's go ahead and simplify. Once again, I'm not going to be adding anything to the f cubed. So that's just f cubed minus 4f squared. And if I combine negative f plus a 12f, we're only changing the, the numbers here, so negative 5 plus 12 is actually going to be a positive 7f, and then 25 minus a 9 is going to be uh, 16, so it's a positive 16. And this here is our final answer. 
So this was subtracting. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And the next one in this case is talking about simplifying the expression. And we do have two expressions here. We have E and we have F. And there's actually, um, they're actually telling us that we want to go ahead and add both of these expressions. So we're going to go ahead and add them. So I should have the following. If we're doing E plus F, this actually should be um, 6C squared minus a 2C minus 1 plus a negative 4C squared plus 7C plus 5. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight in this case. I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, the ones that are like terms here. So I have starting off with the 6c squared along with the 4c squared, then negative 2c with the 7c, and negative 1 with the 5. So I'm going to go ahead and group them like it did in the previous problem. So 6c squared minus 4c squared plus negative 2c plus 7c, plus a negative 1, plus a 5. Once again, I'm grouping them. So this one's that one, this one's that one, and this one's that one. So let's go ahead and simplify. So 6c squared minus a 4c, once again, we're only uh, subtracting the constants, the coefficients here. So that would be a 2c squared. Then negative 2c plus a 7c, that's actually going to give me a positive 5c, and then negative 1 plus a 5 is a 4. So this here is our final answer. Final, final answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next example, and I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this for you to complete. Uh, the only thing different with this example is that we do have a negative sign. They want us to subtract. So I will start it. We will have, in this case, uh, 7 x squared minus a 3x plus 10 minus we have a negative 4x squared plus a 6x minus 4. So what we have to do in this case is we have to distribute this negative into everything that is inside the parentheses here. And this is actually this section is going to work the same way as this one here. Okay, so it's the same format. Once we distribute, we combine like terms. So make sure you finish this up. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this last one. Uh, we do have one more example on this here, and this is a practice problem. Uh, and in this case, we want to go ahead and uh, subtract negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 1 from uh, 6x squared plus a 3x minus 9. So in this case, our keywords for this here, guys, keywords for this here is uh, subtracted from, subtracted from. And the thing with this here is it's actually, it's, it's called the turn, turnaround phrase um, because we do um, flip this around. So we want to go ahead and subtract the expression, this expression from this one. So whenever I rewrite this, I actually have the following. I should have 6x squared plus a 3x minus 9. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract that with the negative 2x squared plus a 4x minus 1. So this is what we have. So let's go ahead and solve for this now. And right here we have an invisible one. So that means we're going to go ahead and distribute this negative to everything inside the parentheses. Whenever you're multiplying by a negative, the only thing that it's doing in this case is that it's changing the sign of your term. In this case, we are multiplying by a negative 1. Um, so there's not going to be much difference aside from just doing the sign. So then we have uh, negative 1 times a negative 2 is actually a positive 2x squared. Negative 1 times a 4x is actually a negative 4x. And negative 1 times a negative 1 is a positive 1. So from here, 
Let's go ahead and group them, the common terms. We have a 6x squared, and we have a 2x. We have a 3x and a negative 4x, and we have a negative 9 and a 1. So I will group these. We have 6x squared plus a 2x squared plus 3x minus a 4x plus a negative 9 plus a 1. And once again, those were the ones that we grouped in this case. So let's go ahead and simplify. 6x squared plus a 2x squared, we're actually going to be adding them. So we have 8x squared. Then 3x minus a 4x is going to give me a negative 1x or just a negative x. And then negative 9 plus a 1 is a negative 8. So this here is our simplified uh, answer here. All right. Now, the practice problem in this case works the same way, so go ahead and work that out.